Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's tutorial for Reaper, we're going to be taking a look at a way that we can save out multiple files from one overall track layout. So what I've got in front of me at the moment is a live set that I've recorded recently. And what I've done is I've set up a range of different regions and named those regions based upon the track that they relate to in this entire live set. So we take a look, you can see that I've got, let me just scroll up, you can see that I've got the vocals, I've got background vocals, I've got bass, guitars left and right, uh, drums, kick, snare and so on. I've done some editing and a few other bits and pieces. So my track or my tracks are all ready now to be output as one entire final live mix. But what I'm going to need to do is make sure that it output as individual tracks and they're named accordingly. So let's see how we can do that with Reaper. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're, you're doing this is ensure that you have created all of your regions and you've named them accordingly. Now this is a great way you can work with this if you're dealing with uh, the final mix of an entire album. You've got it just one entire track. You can just chop it down and do what you want with it. There's lots of different reasons that you use this kind of method. So like I say, first thing I've done is I've ensured that all of my regions are named. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to the file menu and I'm just going to open up the render option. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to do in here. First thing is we're going to specify what we want to render out. Now, you can see that we've got render, rent, region render matrix, master mix, and so on. There's quite a lot of different options available. There's stems, master mix plus stems, and so on. We'll cover these in another video at a future date. We've got render bounds, which we can say we want custom time range, the entire project, the time selection, or project regions. And in this example, we want to work with the project regions. So I'm going to specify that, and you can see it tells me there are currently 12 regions available to me. So I've got 12 tracks set up inside their own region. So the next thing we're going to do is specify what tracks or what regions we want to render out. So I can just click on the region manager, sorry, the region matrix, and what that'll do is that'll show us a matrix of all the elements that make up this particular session inside Reaper. So you can see we've got all of my individual tracks are all down the left hand side. And then across the top, we've got all of my regions and we've got the option for master mix and we've got all tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all of these to say that I want the master mix of all of these individual tracks. Now, obviously, what you could do, depending upon the reason you'd be using this, you can specify you just wanted to render out all of the the background vocals or all of the kick drum or any of the individual tracks you've got, you can render those out and you can just have a huge amount of control over what you can render out on this. So that's the first thing we've got to do. Now what that'll do is that'll just output this as a pile of files. At the moment it doesn't have a name. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that when we output these, we take over the region name, the region number and increment those automatically so we make sure that it saves us a bit of time afterwards and it just shows you why you set these regions up and give them names. So let's see how easy that is to do with Reaper. So one of the great tools that Reaper gives us when we want to render files out is the ability to use wildcards. Wildcards are very, very useful and they allow us to specify certain criteria that we want to use throughout our naming convention for our files. So let's just start off by saying we're going to have track and that's something that every individual track that gets output now is going to start off with the word track and now we can start evoking the uh, the wildcards so if I just put a space in there and click on wildcards you can see we've got a whole host of different things that we can use on you the items item numbers track tr track numbers start end lots of different ways you can use this to name your, your individual tracks but what we're going to do is we want to specify first of all we want the region number so we'll have one two three four and so on then we're going to follow that by the region name. So we'll go back onto wildcards and we'll say we want region. So what this will do is, as you can see below, is say track01, bad girlfriend is the example, .mp3. So the next one will be track2, track3, track4 and so on. So all the track names will be taken from these region names and the same with the track numbers. Then we can go through and we can specify the format we want to use and all the other bits and pieces you'd normally expect. So I'll just say I'm happy with that. So you can see now I've got the option to render 12 files, which is the 12 files we chose inside of our region matrix. So we can hit render that. And that'll go through one at a time, render those out with the file names that we gave it. So I'll let that go ahead and render all those files out. And then I'll show you the end result inside 
uh, a folder to show you exactly how this has worked. Okay, so as we can see, that's finished rendering all those tracks out now. Uh, all the names have been printed, the track numbers, track 01, Bad Girlfriend, Sound of Madness, Even Flow, and so on. So that's a great way of taking a pile of tracks, set them into regions, and then output them as individual tracks and use the region names and the region numbers to have them named automatically by using wildcards in Reaper's render dialog box. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons below. It really does help. If you've got anything specific you'd like to see in a future tutorial, please post in the comments below and I'll do my best to put something together for you. But until next time, take care.